It's my great uh, honor to uh, introduce to you, um, I'm sure many of you already know her, uh, somebody who works tirelessly uh, around the calendar uh, to make these 10 days really, truly wonderful. Uh, would you please welcome uh, EIFF producer Carrie Long. Just one question, Polly. How come you get to say whatever you want and I have to write, read the words? I need a script. Does that say something about me? So good evening and welcome everyone to the 2013 Edmonton International Pri Flula? Edmonton International Film Festival. I better get used to saying that. We got nine more days. So we are privileged to have with us tonight the Honorable Heather Klimchuk, Alberta's Minister of Culture. I would also like to acknowledge Brad Stromberg, Edmonton's Film Commissioner. Yeah. And Christine Frederick from the Edmonton Arts Council's Board of Directors. So we'll hear from our special guests in just a few moments. But over the next week and a half, you will have the opportunity to see feature films, short films, and like tonight, documentaries. We have over 150 titles from 20 countries and wonderful cinematic gems produced right here in Alberta. As we celebrate Alberta Culture Days, we are honored the Minister of Culture can join us for tonight's kickoff. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present you the Honourable Ms. Heather Klimchuk. Well, thank you, Carrie, and welcome film lovers and filmmakers. It's great to be here tonight and bring greetings on behalf of Premier Redford and all my government colleagues. So as Minister of Culture, I have the wonderful responsibility for Alberta's thriving film, television, and digital media industry. And I'm so excited that we're kicking off this year's festival with Muscle Shoals. So tonight we will rock, as Paul said earlier. Um, the Government of Alberta, through, the Alberta through Alberta Film, is very proud to help support this event. So tonight and over the next nine days, the festival will connect Albertans to wonderful films created right here at home and from around the world. And I'm so proud of the talent growing in our own backyard. And looking at this year's festival lineup, I'm really impressed by the Alberta content. And in conjunction with province-wide Alberta Culture Days celebrations, the Empton International Film Festival will be screening Alberta films all day on September 29th. So I believe that makes for a total of 24 films, and I encourage you to check them all out. And also, please check out the culture calendar on the web and our new mobile app that I uh, on iTunes for more groovy events. That's a new um, app that we have, and it outlines all the events that are going across uh, ar all around Alberta during Alberta Culture Days and forevermore. So as a government, we are indeed committed to promoting sustainability and investment in our film, television, and digital media industry. So with outstanding film crews and talent, breathtaking scenery, and unequaled locations, Alberta is proud to be a location of choice for productions from around the world. I often say that we are the world's stunt double. <laughs> and we value the films that choose to use Alberta, and it's indeed good for our economy. And it gives our Alberta film crews more opportunities to work and achieve success right here at home. And as part of our commitment to Alberta filmmaking, I recently announced up to a $5 million in support to build a film studio in the Calgary region. Proposals are due actually by tomorrow, so if anyone's interested, there you go. And I'm really excited to see the ideas that are being presented. But I do also want to acknowledge uh, the innovative work happening right here in Edmonton at the refreshed Alberta Film Studio. And already we've had a number of major productions like Freezer filmed there. And I know I was there on the set when uh, Tiny Plastic Man was being filmed as well. And I expect that the addition of a new studio in the south will enhance the sector as a whole to further support Albertans' ability to share our stories and our perspectives around the world. And to welcome more of the world's productions to our beautiful province, including our capital city of Edmonton. So this is an exciting time with endless opportunities. I'm so proud that our film industry has so many dedicated and passionate, committed individuals just like Carrie and Michael. Please enjoy this remarkable story tonight of a small town with a big sound and have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Minister. 
Mr. Klumchuk. Um, and just, uh, I'm going off script here, Paul. <laughs> How unusual. Um, on Sunday, September 29th, as Minister Klimchuk explained, we have a whole bunch of short films produced by Albertans called Our Own Backyard Day. I encourage you please to come out and support the film that's being done here because it is outstanding. Um, and we're also screening um, an older film called Road to Saddle River produced by Francis Damberger. Um, and that'll be showing at the Garneau Theatre that night. Um, and the admission is free, so there's no excuse not to go. It is now with great delight and anticipation that I call upon Brad Stromberg, Edmonton's Film Commissioner, and Christine Frederick from the Edmonton Arts Council's Board of Directors to come to the stage and make a very special announcement. I'm very happy to be here and on behalf of the Edmonton Arts Council to recognize the winner of this year's Edmonton Film Prize. But first, let me tell you a little bit about some background about that prize. In 2008, the Edmonton Arts Council and the City of Edmonton launched their arts and cultural plan for the city. That plan, the Art of Living, strives to foster an environment in Edmonton that integrates culture into everyday life and that retains and attracts artists and cultural practitioners. One of the recommendations of the Art of Living was to increase the range and value of city prizes, recognizing excellence in the arts so that we can celebrate and promote amazing work that happens in Edmonton's many arts communities and disciplines. That's why in 2012, we launched the Edmonton Film Prize in partnership with the Edmonton Film Commission to draw attention to the high quality work that is happening in Edmonton's film industry. Thanks. Thank you to the Edmonton Arts Council for launching and funding this magnificent um, acknowledgement of Edmonton's talented filmmakers. Thank you to Minister Klimchuk for the sincere enthusiasm that you brought to the culture portfolio. Thank you to Carrie and the Edmonton Film Festival for embracing this award and making room for us on your coattails. Thank you to this year's film jury for our film prize, Jane Bisbee, Melody Jacobson, Niobe Thompson, Trevor Anderson, and Mark Power. We're so lucky for what you contribute to our city's creative industries, and we appreciate the commitment and investment in time that you made in helping us choose this year's winner, watching and analyzing, comparing and discussing until your pupils went square at the screens. And of course, thank you to the one of the most progressive and supportive mayors and city councils in the country that funds the Arts Council, which funds this prize. I hope you all realize what a gift it is that allows everyone in our city's creative industries to have a voice and a place. And Edmonton filmmakers and the countless people who have worked with you on your projects, everyone who's touched a camera, lights, microphone, a makeup bag, hairbrush, food cart, a honey wagon, to help you realize your vision. I am beyond proud of all of you. This year, 11 filmmakers were nominated for this award. From short films to documentaries, features, and animated films, films that were cute, funny, beautiful, and provocative. The decision was not an easy one. Our peer jury watched hours of film, engaged in spirited discussions, and of course, uh, about, of course, the nominees. But ultimately, the group gravitated to one filmmaker, in particular, one film, and the jurors were able to reach a unanimous decision. The winner of the 2013 Edmonton Film Prize works in short, non-narrative film, works both film and video, sometimes using bleaches, dyes, scratches, and paints to alter the footage, has been screened in traditional and non-traditional settings all across Canada, and received the Lieutenant Governor of Alberta Emerging Artist Award in 2012. I'm very pleased and very proud to announce the Edmonton Film Prize for 2013 is awarded to Kyle Armstrong for his short film, for his short film, Magnetic Reconnection. Please join me in congratulating Kyle and enjoying this clip. <laughs> 